Silver. I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. You come over to our website at TFNN, hit Newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability right on the right-hand side. You just hit Subscribe. You get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can check it out. Steve's got a lot of archives on there. really gets to understand how he looks at the market each and every day. So check it out right here, right now. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I'm hoping that uh, uh, that we're going to see something we haven't seen for 39 years, and that's a three-peat uh, with regard to the uh, with regard to the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning out there. So the last time that there were three straight Stanley Cup wins out there actually came from a team that probably nobody I I know I would not have been able to guess this, but it was the New York Islanders. Islanders, There's yeah. The only reason you know, I knew it is that they said it the other night when I was watching, when you were watching, the same ah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Perfect, perfect, yeah, perfect. Right. So the other two times have been Canadian teams, yeah. twice by the uh, by the Maple Leafs and twice by the Montreal Canadiens. So yeah. let's see, you know, we'll see We'll see if they can do it. Uh, they, they, you, 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 know. you know, it's wild, so check this out. So the, the, the coach at that time was John Cunniff. John Cunniff yeah. is, from, is from South Boston. Every day, listen to this, man, this is so sick. They lived down the street from me, him and Teddy. Okay. I would go down there, and that's where the Greyhound bus was, so it was all cement, and we would shoot pucks every single day. He's about that's he's great. about 10 that's years great. older than me, at least. He played yeah. from B.C., but isn't that crazy? That's the, no, that, it's yeah, great. I know. That's great. So hey, it's got to be pretty, so, pretty, pretty heavy, you know, a lot of excitement in Tampa. It's got to be. Oh, big time. Dude, can you yeah. believe, folks, if you saw this game, right, Steven Stamkos, man, <laughs> Especially the shot. He was so far away, man. That's, that's when, I mean, if you saw the shot, folks, he was so far. The goalie wasn't ready for it, man, because it's like he, he was yeah. 10 feet away from the blue line. He just fired it, and it was awesome, man. I know. Yeah, but it's still coming at 95 miles an hour. It so. is. It <laughs> is, man. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, it is. But, uh, hey, so, you know, I thought what we market, do here. Yeah. Yeah, let's go in the, in the market. So we began 2022 uh, taking a look at all of the TD9 count topping signals that were present in the uh, markets. Yep, and, I remember uh, this well, it, man. Yeah, and, and and so folks, and it's it's one of the tools that I teach. So if you don't know the pattern, you really should learn it. You can sign up for Mastering Probabilities. You can do it for 29 days. It doesn't cost you anything. Yeah. But if you're a technical trader, you really want to understand this pattern out here. Gave us a, a big warning sign. And now what we have is at least right now, as of 3:21 in the afternoon, we got the NDX, the Russell 2000, the semis, and the Nasdaq Composite all trading below last year's lows, which is a real bearish signal out there. So. What I thought that we could do. You know what we got to do, like Steve? I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm going to find yeah. that clip that when I was interviewing you. Because I remember that so well. Because I says, yeah, because, yeah, we're going to find that clip. I'll find it this week sure. for sure. Yeah. That, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Because, because there was nobody thinking that that was even a possibility. No, totally. Right? So it's, totally. It's just, I mean, everybody was celebrating. Right. Because you had put was, together that and exactly what you just said. Now, if it breaks this, this is going to be a monster problem. Right. Yeah. Ex right. Exactly. And so, and now. More likely than not, you know, just we're looking at big picture here. So more likely than not, we don't see a major bottom come in until 2023. And how I get to that is this is a monthly chart. It's easier just to show this on a monthly chart. Yeah. But this is a monthly chart of a bull market. This is uh, going back. This is the Dow. And this is taking us back into the March 2009. What we see here, with the exception of one time, since that time period of March of 2009, every correction has been two to three bars. And that's what's really labeled on the screen where the arrows are at. There was one period of time, that was back in the 2015, or 2010, 11 flash crafts, I believe, that we, we saw five uh, monthly bars to the downside. So this is typically what we would see out here. I still believe we're in a longer term, much longer term bull market. And if that's the case, then we should see basically a two bar reversal. That would suggest that we would see some kind of bottom take place in, in 2023. But we'll, we'll, we'll get there. When we get there, we'll, we'll hopefully we'll know it or we'll at least be able to see it from a technical standpoint. So yes. this, this is what sets us up into, and I'm not saying we're not going to have bounces and significant bounces, along the way. We very likely will, but really expecting the next major bottom to come in in 2023. So let's spend a little time, and you had started doing this as we were coming in to this segment, taking a look at price targets to the downside. Now, you were using A to B equals CD, 
projection. So that's one tool that we have. Another tool that we have in just sticking with the TD9 count pattern is that the TD9 count pattern helps us to identify an objective level where price is broken out from. And when you break through a breakout area, it says you go to the next breakout level. Well, in the case of the, and these are all monthly time frames. So on a bigger picture here, the Dow's larger picture says maybe 24,843. And so when we think about possibly going out into 2023 before there's a major bottom, that's a real price target. The S&P, its next price target on the way down is 37.23. If in <laughs> June we see a close below that level, that's then going to signal a move to the 29.65 area. So each of these red horizontal lines on this chart represent the uh, breakout levels where price would move to. But if we take a look at the NDX 100, it's trading below that level already. That, that should have really been the buy, the dip area. So this is really telling us of significant problems that we've got inside the market and technically talking about getting down to the 74.23 level. The semis, which are also trading below their monthly breakout area, suggest 16.25 could be a target and the NASDAQ composite 85.37. Now, the cool thing is that we go from larger time frames like monthly, we can go take a look at the weekly. The weeklies also have breakout levels. So before those monthly areas come into play, Tom, we need to see some of these weekly levels break. And uh, and most people, uh, they can uh, come back, watch the archive if they're just listening in. They'll see these levels on, on Tiger TV. The Dow, the area that we're looking at is 30,000 a 14 as its next weekly level. If we see a close below that, that's going to signal lower price. The S&P, the area to watch, is 32.79. Now these are weekly time frames. Uh, the NDX 100 is 10.957. The Russell's at 15.540 out there. And I've got the others, the semis, the trainings, and so forth, down on the bottom. Now, from a short term, so that's the bigger picture, folks. What I also like to do is give you kind of a short term picture. So, like, what's happening today? And the shorter term message of the market says that we should expect and anticipate a bounce to form, perhaps over the perhaps just within the next 24 hours, but certainly over the next couple of days. And Tom, how we achieve that uh, uh, um, conclusion is because the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator. That's the difference between the 19 and 39 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. It has already attained the significant oversold level, which is down at minus 250. It's the second panel that's in my chart out here. And folks, I take you back to the 2007-2009 bear market. We had many instances of these. If you take a look at the green arrows out there, every time the market gets or this, this oscillator gets down into the minus 250 area, doesn't happen necessarily that day. Sometimes it does, but usually sometimes it can take a couple days, Tom. It happened back then. It's going to happen now, too, in these bear markets. So we should expect and anticipate a bounce. What I would tell folks to watch overnight is the two-hour time frame charts for the equity futures. I've got something called an oscillator and change line. If price closes above that, that tells us that we've got a rally that's underway out there. So that's what I see, longer picture and shorter term. you got to love it, man. I don't find that archive, man, for sure. Yeah, it yeah. would be great. Because yeah, that, be that, we were at big highs then, man. That was that oh. was a term. We were still at highs, man. And, but, and that's the cool thing about the pattern. Right? It is. So it's, just, it's, it it's, is. A nice, it's a nice pattern. And everybody should, should yep. know about it and use it. Come right over, folks. Go in the newsletters. You'll see it on the right-hand side, Maximum Probability. Hit that button. Steve, have a Take great care, one. Tom. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks. If you want to Thanks. take